Hey everybody, so I've seen a lot of sales come through our auctions and, uh, you know, I've kind of become immune to it, kind of numb on some of the prices, but, you know, this this recent surge in 151 and the amount of money I just went back from Collecticon that, that I saw there, people just spending an, a, a ridiculous amount of money, not just spending, but just the, the volume of stuff out there. Uh, it, it's it, it's truly, I mean, this is going to be a, a little ranty, not because, you know, I, I don't understand, you know, the amount of money that's that's being poured into this. I mean, I, I've seen it. Uh, obviously, we we run a, a company that sells, you know, a ton of stuff. Uh, so so I've seen it. I get it. But, you know, just just one example that we, that we just had. And I know one example doesn't make the mark, but there are a whole there are plenty of other examples. But this one kind of, uh, you know, I made an Instagram post about it. We had a, a Venusaur from 151, the uh, illustration rare. In CGC's ten went for uh, pristine ten went for a thousand and ninety dollars, guys. There was somebody else who bid a thousand sixty five dollars. There was somebody else who bid a thousand and fifteen dollars, and these other people were uh, people who have bought from us before. These are real, actual numbers. Multiple people spending over a thousand dollars trying to buy an illustration rare. That's a hundred and something dollars in PSA ten. I don't know what it is now. Maybe it's double. I don't know at this point. Uh, you know when I upload this video. Uh, you know, I made a, a an Instagram post that, that got a lot of traction a week ago. It was literally one week ago that had the um, the Charizard from 151. That was 300 something dollars that we used to sell for 320, and then it was 340. We had a sale that day, and I was like, "Wow, that's incredible! It's gone up 100 dollars. There's a pop 8,000, 9,000 card." I mean, guys, for a pop like 9,000 card to go up 100 dollars, right? You do the math. I mean, it's a lot of money that's just instantly kind of. Boop. Now, granted, if you sold 9000 at the same time, it wouldn't go for that. But just talking about market cap in general. Uh, and then when I went to the Collecticon, I was looking around and a lot of people had that Charizard. And everybody had it stickered for like 600 650 675 Some people had it for 700 I'm like, what is... Man, the people are really, really overpricing here at Collecticon. It's kind of insane. Uh, and I was a little, uh, a little irritated at that price because I was like, man, these people aren't going to sell any of this. And I looked at the um you know comps on ebay and there were multiple sales for 600 650 700 dollars all of a sudden it just ballooned in that amount and um guys the amount of uh, i mean it's it's hard to wrap your head around how much money is in this hobby now i mean just the gray felt hat pikachu right i mean we we listed somebody we had a a post that we sold one for over 300 dollars, and then someone sent us uh, a, a crap ton of copies, and they're like, I list 40 of them for 275 buy it now. Just list 40 of them at once, you know, not even, you know, we don't do quantities, right? So it's just like, it's going to be 40 listings on our eBay store. Um, so it was like, eh, you know, well, it's a pop like 30,000. It's like, well, we'll see what, what kind of happens there. We sold like eight of them in the first day at $275. Like there was a card, this is a card that was selling for $200 not that long ago, a month ago. I'm going to have a card that's 30,000 pop go up $100. And we sold one. We had one at auction running. Went for $300 and it was paid. $300 or buy it now. So we had literally 30 or 40 buy it nows for $25 less. Someone's like, eh, I'll just auction but $300 and I'll pay for it. Um, So, <laughs> I mean, you do the math. Just times the population of the card times the price. I mean, it's it's an insane amount of money. I mean, some of these modern cards are probably have more market cap than the uh, a PSA 10 first edition base Charizard that only has, what, 126 pop? You times that by 100 and whatever thousand dollars it's worth. I mean, it's probably less than some of these, uh, you know, modern cards. Which, granted, it doesn't matter. Demand, I know, I know. Supply doesn't matter. It's all about demand, blah, blah. Um, but at the end of the day, uh, just it's incredible how much money is in this in this hobby i mean we talk about like 1999 this the boom you know the huge 99 2000 and everybody's buying you know there were like you know 12 print runs a base set whatever it doesn't matter those that, that's like a rounding error now it's like a rounding it's it's like it's it's a number at the very end of the market cap what it was back then because packs everything was a lot cheaper and who cares there weren't like you know a, a thousand sets and 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 uh, you know etbs and collector boxes and booster bo bo and everything has value there and all the uh, i mean it's it's pretty uh it's pretty mind numbing how much of this stuff and i'm just talking about pokemon i mean there's, there's you know we're you know, we're selling every week we're selling one piece cards for three thousand five thousand eight thousand dollars selling lorcana cards for thousands of dollars we're you know selling so um 
it, it's it's incredible the amount of money that's uh actually into cardboard especially that not too long ago a few years ago you know everything was going digital you know especially the video games everything is going digital nobody wants video games because everybody wants the digital stuff it's gonna all go in the trash card game everybody's online everybody's playing games on their phone you know uh you know so you know who's gonna play physical card games you know you gotta meet in person it's 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 irritating uh it it just it didn't it didn't matter um it didn't matter and um to to go around Collecticon and seeing all these deals being made, everybody just like huddled around all these uh, you know displays and and everybody buying and selling and um, it's pretty incredible. It's pretty incredible how um, like small we are as a you know I think of us as you know, we when I ran the Terapeak data not that long ago. Um, Sorry, I had, to, I had to put the uh, someone some uh, said possible spam was calling. But it, when I, when I ran the numbers when at Terapeak and eBay, I mean, like, like a couple of years ago, we were like one percent of the entire volume of uh, like Pokemon, PSA, CGC, and BGS slab sales. Right, N not raw, not sealed, but just like seal or actual graded, um, you know, Pokemon cards. And then last year we got to like five percent. I think in some months we were like three and then some months we were like you know a little over five percent i mean the past month alone i mean we're probably approaching ten percent of the entire market uh for every ten dollars that's sold on a graded card one dollar of it flows through us um so i see i see all this stuff right um i see all the back end i see all the front end i see the people buying i see the people that are consigning i see the you know how many are sellers how many are um, you know, just these individual people who are, you know, just want to sell their collection one time and who are a repeat. And, you know, I see all this stuff. And um, it's just getting much, much bigger. And just, I mean, PSA grades, uh, whatever they grade, 600,000 TCG cards a month. <laughs> I mean, a month. That's just PSA. And we haven't, so we've sold just over 100,000 cards in the entire lifetime of our eBay, which is, you know, seven years old. Um, so we're not even a blip on their monthly output on just TCG. And don't even talk about sports. Um, and I'm just talking about sales of graded cards. I don't even, I don't even look at binders of stuff at the, like these Collecticons or we don't even sell graded cards. Uh, we don't sell sealed. I don't even see that. I mean, the amount of guys, the amount of money streamers are going in. It seems like everybody's a streamer now. Why? Because it's, I guess it's just free. It's just, everybody's just ripping and every just once again has just unlimited money to spend on this stuff it's really insane i mean i was uh dan you know catch them all collectibles i started a, a fanatics live thing and I, I i didn't even know fanatics live even existed i didn't even know that was a, a platform um you know i would know about whatnot and you know a lot of people went on there and a little bit ebay live of course and a lot of people go on there and you know we, we haven't gone on that and people ask why it's because it was because they're so just, we have we are just a speck even though we are uh, multiple percentages of the entire eBay market, we're just a spec. Um, you know, it's walking around these booths, these vendors, these vendors who are literally, I see, I look over and they're like, you know, people walk up and they're comping and it's like, well, this goes for this and this, and they're showing each other and it's our, it's our comps. It's, it's us, uh, you know, a little check mark that says direct from Z and G Emporium on their little thing. They're all seeing it. They all see it. And probably, I don't know, one out of every one out of every twelve tables, which is great. I mean, that's that's a pretty uh, amazing uh, amount of people who, that that know us. But like one out of maybe twelve tables, like we're like, oh, ZNG Emporium. That means eleven out of twelve people who would literally do this uh, their whole life. That's that's what they live and breathe and eat, and you know, traveling to these vendor shows and setting up and paying all the money for travel and uh, you know the, the airfare or driving or the hotels or the food and uh the actual cost to vend uh you know to get the actual vendor pad badges and all the time it takes to actually set it up and 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 break it down and these people who just absolutely not only live live breathe eat pokemon and or tcgs in general and graded and selling it um they literally see our, yeah, these these people who are walking up to them all the time are showing us don't know who we are um which just tells you like there's just it, there's an immense amount of there's so much out there so when people come to us and say like oh you know why don't you the stream it's like well why would we 
we still we are like we are growing and we're doing really great and we're still not perfect at what we do and we probably never be perfect but just getting as bad you know as good as we can we still are just there's still just so much out there and don't even talk to me about the people who are uh doing live streams the amount of money that's people are pouring into there um like i said you know dan started the finance live so it's, i didn't even know it was a platform so I went on there and just to just to check them out for a few minutes because I was doing something else. I don't know. And I, you know, I, I'm not I'm not the customer to buy to, to live streams, but I went in and I had to scroll through 57 live streams that were happening at the same time <laughs> on Fanatics Live. I didn't even know how much you were on whatnot or eBay Live or, you know, 57 at once. And there's a market for that, apparently. Uh, I just... It, it literally blows my mind how much money is in here. And yeah, it's all it's all relative, right? I mean, you, you go to like people who are in equities, you know, stock market, bond market, you know, people who are in real estate, like this is just so like, it's just, it's just nothing. Um, but comparatively speaking to where we were, even if you talk about 2020, people are always like, well, you know, oh, 2020, it was, you know, there was so much money flowing through it. It's not, it's, it's, it's literally nothing compared to what it is now. I, I, I will, I will make that, I will make that say it's, it's nothing compared to what it was then. Um, yeah. So, um, I'm either super bullish on the future because there's so much into it, or I'm super bearish because there's no way that there could be more money that's poured into this. I don't know. But <laughs> anyway, we'll just continue selling people stuff on consignment. And, uh, you know, we'll see where this stuff goes. It was uh, great to meet everybody at Collecticon who, uh, you know, said hi. I said hi to a lot of people. We brought in, like, I don't even know what the total is. Uh, Going to be uh, uh, doing the inventorying today. Um, you know, already did in half of it. But you know, there was probably, I don't know, 400-ish, 400-something cards, maybe close to 500 cards that we brought on consignment. And I was just, like, walking around for a few hours and not even, I, I didn't do, like, sales pitches, you know, all these people who you know i i never said about our service once you know it was just the people who actually you know had watched the channel and knew about me beforehand who you know asked about it didn't do anything it was just people meeting and there were like four or five people that i missed that were at the very end who were like oh you still here i want to drop off stuff i could see setting up a booth and just being that consignment person who especially these vendors at the end of the end of the um end of the show who don't even know what this service is and who are literally people going up with comps and wanting 10, 15, 20% off of their stuff. It's like, hey, why don't you just get 88% or 93% or 95% and not pay thousands and thousands of dollars on not only just the expenses of traveling and setting this all up, but your time. You're just standing there for whatever it is, eight, 10 hours, whatever is the setup and the breakdown for two days on your feet it's, it's it's a lot of work and dealing with people who are i mean how many people do i have to deal with that don't even buy right they're just oh you did this and I'll, I'll take a look at this and then you talk about it and then they leave and i don't know it just there's such a huge potential i think for uh for our business but also just the market in general it's just insane it really is uh you know i i wish we would have had that sunday that i went to the collecticon had a couple of those charizards from 151 actually ended we had zero uh we're selling the gray felt hat pikachu all you know we have a ton of those and a, a lot more i think are going to be coming if we keep selling them at those prices um but we actually have multiple going this this week that will end sunday it'll be interesting to see what those end like i said we bought like i just randomly bought uh, uh you know for lauren i was like uh you know she likes to open packs and i don't really like to open packs anymore i have in vintage stuff i really don't care um that's just not you know how i how i like to you know collect your open stuff but she does so I, I i i pulled up to uh you know bb shout out to uh, uh bb he uh, uh has had like 151 packs and i was like oh yeah i'll take 10 he threw in one extra thank you appreciate that i was like eh, you don't have to do that but um i think it was like eight dollars a piece for the packs she opened them she got a pikachu illustration rare she got a a, a v ivy sore and a Charmander. And I was like, oh, let's look up with those. I mean, normally when you open those modern packs, I mean, you get those illustration rares. They're like, oh, they're like, oh, okay, it's, I don't know, $10 or something. I don't know. It's, I mean, you get the big, big hit. Maybe it's like $50 on TCG Player or whatever it is. I mean, I was like, oh, let me look at what a PSA 10 of the Charmander looks like. And it was like $300 to $400 for a Charmander. The Ivysaur was like 
150 or something or but i mean it was like 500 dollars in hits and it barely like you know it wasn't like a you open the pack it's like oh we hit the big one it was like oh okay nice i, I just yeah it's it's crazy out there anyway thanks again for watching we'll talk to you again soon